Hello fellow sin enthusiasts, my name is Christina and welcome to another Let's Get Reels movie review. Today's movie I will be reviewing for you is Dunkirk from 2017, directed by Christopher Nolan. If you're not familiar with the battle and evacuation of Dunkirk of uh, British troops by British civilians, mostly British civilians, definitely look it up. It's a very interesting story. That is what uh, Dunkirk is about. It's about the true story of the evacuation and battle of Dunkirk. British troops have been stranded on this shore in France during World War II and the Germans just kept coming in. They kept um, flying in, like the Luftwaffe would fly in and just destroy cruisers and you know these poor guys were trying to get home. The, the army was absolutely stranded and you know the battle for Dunkirk and to save these men and boys from just being completely wiped out was fought on the sky and the sea and on land and it's very interesting how Christopher Nolan played that out he how he showed every you know type of battle sky sea and land and it's a beautiful movie Dunkirk is absolutely gorgeous and it was just great to see this movie and the different perspectives and you know different fighters different soldiers you know you had the RAF you had Tom Hardy playing an RAF uh, pilot and then you had uh, Killian Murphy who was a ground soldier who was really messed up after his cruiser went down and I guess he was one of the only survivors to come off of this ship and then he had this kid this, he looked like he was about 12 years old who was fighting to get back to England but he just he brought such bad luck every ship that this kid would get on somehow be fortunate to get on it would just blow up it would be destroyed and he came together with a group of guys to get on this smaller ship and the Germans wound up taking pot shots and the ship wound up going down but the kid survived. Then it shows the perspective of one civilian whose boat, like his weekend boat, was commandeered by the Navy but he decided before the sailors could come and take his boat that he was just gonna go. Him and his son and I guess his son's friend George were gonna go out and go to Dunkirk and be heroes and save these guys and bring them home so that they can fight for Britain. It was just a very, very fascinating movie. I liked it, honestly, from beginning to end. I liked how it started. It was, to me, it was a little, maybe a little unconventional, but I enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it because it just focused on the three fronts, the three battle fronts, sky, sea, and land, as I said, and there really wasn't a lot of talking, there wasn't a lot of dialogue, it was very internalized by the characters, you know, they were all quiet and, you know, reserved, if that's how you can say it. I just, I like the lack of dialogue, I just thought it added great intensity to the movie, and it added great... Um, I guess you could say solemnness and great way to just let you absorb everything that was going on because you didn't have to pay attention to the dialogue. So you could just pay attention to the surroundings of all of these characters. Really, really great. I believe Dunkirk is actually up for Best Picture um, at the Academy Awards in 2018. I'm really hoping Dunkirk, if it's up for other awards, I don't know what other awards it may be up for, unfortunately, but I really hope it wins something. I highly doubt it's gonna win Best Picture, but I would just like it to win something because it was such a good movie. And I think it really does justice to the historical movies or the movies based on a true story because it's right there in the action and it's not like some sappy love story or anything like that. It was really, really good. I'm just hoping it gets some recognition for what Christopher Nolan did, what the actors did. And, you know, I hope you guys go see it. If you haven't seen Dunkirk, absolutely go see it. You'll really, really like it. The whole cast is great. Um, there's a lot of guys in this, like I said, Tom Hardy, Killian Murphy, there's Mark Rylance who actually won an Academy Award. And then you also have Harry Styles from One Direction who was in it, which you're probably like, oh man, Harry Styles or a kid from One Direction. Let me tell you guys, for this being his first movie, he was excellent. He was really, really good. And if there's anyone who's gonna judge a boy band, that's me. But he was great. He was so good and he really 
like he was one of those guys that didn't talk much. Uh, he he had a few lines here and there. It's not like he was completely silent. But there was a scene where he just went off on this kid, and it was like his rage was so good. Like I was like, damn, Harry, get it. And his character to me was kind of a dick in some ways, but I really liked Harry. I thought he was great. Just give him a chance. You know, I, if I didn't like his performance, I would tell you guys straight out, but I really did. You know, I'm not a huge One Direction fan. I've never have been. I'm um, not really like a gigantic Harry Styles fan, but you know, he was good. And he's one of the reasons I was looking forward to this movie as well, just to see how he did. I'm like, oh, kid from One Direction. Seriously, Christopher Nolan, come on, man. But um, one of the things that Christopher Nolan wanted to do was cast young, inexperienced kids for this movie, guys for this movie, because he had heard that a lot of the guys who were at Dunkirk, a lot of the kids were just kids. They were inexperienced, you know, young men who were at Dunkirk. So that's what he did. He um, loaded the crew, the younger crew, with uh, guys who were inexperienced, and that made the movie even better because these these guys you would never know they weren't as experienced as actors they did a great job so that was my review of dunkirk if you guys like this review in any way if it was helpful to you in any way please give it a thumbs up leave your comments down below if you have seen dunkirk if you have seen it let me know what you think you know what was your favorite part what were your favorite scenes let me know and also in the comments down below leave any suggestions you may have any requests of what movies i should watch next and if i pick your movie and i watch it and i review it i'll give you a shout out and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for future let's get reels movie reviews because that is what i like to do here and as always keep watching movies and stay absolutely fabulous